Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back, ladies, to the Style Edit. So in today's video, we're going to address the number one question we get, which is, how do I know it fits? How do I know it's my size? So we're going to walk you through step by step on how to measure yourself so you know you're a buyer fits. The first area we want to start with is the bust area. So what you want to do is take the full measurement of your bust from front to back all the way around. So here you'll see our model's bust area is a size 35. And then what you want to do is you want to take your waist area. So you take the area that's just above the hip bone. So right around the hip bone, you go around your waist and you'll see here our model is a size 28 in the waist. And then the next measurement is the hips area. So the hips area is the full area around the buttocks. And you'll see here that the model's hips are a size 40. Once you have those measurements, you want to take into account that you have at least three to four inches on each side of the abaya. So it's not designed to fit snug, but rather to give you additional room around the bust, the waist, and the hips area. It's designed to fit loosely and comfortably. And then lastly, you want to measure for length. So length is the primary fitting mechanism, so you want to make sure you get it right. So you start from the top of the shoulder to the bottom of your shoe. Here she's 5 feet 7, and she's wearing a size 58 abaya. Now here she's also wearing a little bit of a heel, so you want to take that into account, whether or not you're going to be wearing a heel or a flat shoe. That's going to impact how you take your measurements. And then you also want to make sure your abaya falls just above the top of your shoe and that it's not too short that your ankles show. So the proper fit is that it really covers your shoe. So that's how you measure yourself. If you have any questions, you can give us a call or send us a text. We're happy to answer your questions. Thank you for watching.